Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I am Neha Paryani and in this session we are going to discuss about how to prepare executors account. Okay, first of all, let me tell you who are the executors here, right? So executors are the legal representatives of the deceased partner. Okay, legal representatives. Okay, now they are the legal representatives of deceased partner right now who are who is a deceased partner so we all know that the partner who is died we call him as a deceased partner okay now these legal representatives can be anybody like uh, like wife of the deceased partner it could be his daughter his son or any family member or friends okay they can be the legal representatives right now when we prepare partners capital account or when we prepare deceased partner's capital account, we get a certain balancing figure, right? So that balancing figure, we transfer it to executor's account, okay? So in my previous sessions, we have solved, we have prepared deceased partner's capital account, right? So the balancing figure that we got there, we transferred it to executor's account, right? So if you know how to prepare deceased partner's capital account, then you will know this. Right. Basically, it is the balancing figure from deceased partner's capital account. Now, it means that we have to give all this amount, all this balancing figure to the legal representatives of the deceased partner. Clear? It means the firm has to pay this amount to the legal representatives. Right. So suppose the firm has to pay one crore rupees to the uh, executors of the deceased partner right now payment of all these one crore rupees will not be easy all at a time right so what so many business organization done does is they distribute this amount into installments okay they distribute this amount into installments and they will pay amount not all at a time but in part okay those parts we call them as installments right suppose firm is dividing one crore rupees into 25 lakhs and it is making four parts out of it, okay, 25 lakhs, okay. Suppose firm is making an yearly installments, okay. It means every year the firm has to pay 25 lakh rupees to the uh, executors of the deceased partner, okay. So for next, five, next four years, the firm has to pay 25 lakh rupees every year. Okay, at the end of the fourth year, we can say that the firm has made full payment to the executors. Clear? So these installments can be monthly, they can be quarterly, they can be half yearly, or they can be yearly. Okay, it depends upon the business organization, right? But we have to remember that along with the principal amount, the business also has to pay certain interest. Okay, it also has to pay certain interest every year to the executors. Clear? So for showing all this process, like how the payment is made in how many installments it has been made and how much of interest has been paid for showing all these process, we prepare executors account. Clear? Now, if you remember retirement of a partner chapter, in that we prepared partner's loan account right it is also the same thing whatever the balancing figure we got in the partner's capital account we had to give that amount to the retiring partner okay so for that purpose we prepared partner's loan account okay if you know how to prepare loan account then executor account is exactly same like that okay it's ditto right if you know this properly then you can easily do this one okay just the name is different here in case of retirement, we call it as partner's loan account. In case of death, we call it as executor's account. Okay, so this is the concept here, right? Now let us try to solve a problem so we can understand clearly. Okay, so now the question here is, rupees 72,000 to be paid to C's executors in three equal yearly installments with 10 percentage rate of interest per annum. Okay, C was died on 30th 9, 2017. It's nothing but 30th September 2017, right? Now we have to pay. We in the sense firm, okay? I am using the word we here, 
for the firm okay so we have to pay 72000 rupees to sees executors okay and i am going to divide it into three equal yearly installments look at here i'll show you 72000 is to be paid okay i am dividing it in three equal yearly installments so 72000 divided by 3 would be 24000 rupees as one installment okay and i am going to pay them yearly means in the first year i'll be paying 24000 first installment again in the second year i'll pay 24000 and at last again i'll pay the final installment of 24000 okay but along with the principal amount we also have to pay the interest right now the interest rate given in this question is 10 percentage okay so with the principal amount we are going to pay the interest okay so now let us see how to record it okay now see here the partner is died on 30th of september 2017 means september month is already gone right now october to march okay for six months we have to pay the first installment okay interest or interest on first installment should be paid for six months see i'll tell you on first of sorry first of october uh, 1 10 2017 first of october 2017 firm has to pay 72,000 rupees to C, okay? And we got this figure from C's capital account, okay? See, I told you, when we will prepare deceased partner's capital account, we get a balancing figure, right? So from where did I get this 72,000? I got it from here. It is the balancing figure of C's capital account, okay? So here I'm mentioning it, mentioning it as C's capital account, 72,000 means we have to pay 72,000 rupees to C, okay? So now let us try to calculate the interest here. 31, 3, 2018. Always remember, interest will be calculated at the end of the year. Clear? So interest, 72,000 rupees is to be paid into 10 percentage is the rate of interest, okay? And the partner died in the, in the middle of the year. Okay, so there is no point of paying the interest for full year, right? Because before October, the partner was alive, okay? And we are giving this amount after the death of the partner, okay? So I will not pay the interest for full year, but for the first year, I am going to pay the interest only from October to March. That is six months, okay? Six divided by 12, right? Simplify this, we'll get the value rupees 3,600, okay? Interest is calculated. Now let us pay the first installment. At the year ending 31st March 2018, bank account. I am assuming that I am paying the amount through bank. Okay. You can also mention cash account here. Okay. So I'm going to pay the first installment that is 24,000 rupees plus interest. Okay. 3,600. Totally, I am paying 27,600 rupees to cease executors as first installment. Clear? Now close the account for this year. Right? What we did, we just found out the interest and we paid the first installment. Okay? Now the balance is more on the credit side. Okay? Total I'm getting on balance uh, on the credit side is 75,600 mention the same thing here 75600 okay what will be the balancing figure now 48000 rupees okay this is the balance carried down or balancing figure this will also be at the year end 2018 okay now if you see i have paid the first installment now remaining are second and third Okay, if you total these, if you total second and third, you'll get the value 48,000 rupees. Okay, and what I got the balancing figure here, 48,000. It's same, right? Means still I have to pay 48,000 rupees to cease executors. Okay, now bring this amount down. Okay, what balance carried down is there, right? Just bring it down on the next day. 1 for 2018 now. Okay, balance brought down rupees 48,000. Okay, still we have to pay 48,000 rupees. Now let us find out the interest. 31, 3, 2000 and 
19 now at the end of the year okay interest 48000 into rate of interest is 10 percentage right now here i am paying the interest for full year from 1st of april to 31st of march full one year okay so i'm not doing this 6 into 12 here here so the amount here will be 4800 or 4800 right now say pay the second installment 31 3 2019 bank account okay so second installment amount is same 24000 plus now the interest is 4800 so totally i am paying 28800 rupees to seize executors as second installment okay close the account for this year again the credit side is bigger okay the total on the credit side is 52800 okay 52800 and the balancing figure that i am getting is rupees 24000 okay balance carried down balancing figure this will also be at the year end 31 3 2019 okay now check here okay i also paid the second installment along with that i also paid the interest now only third installment is remaining so in amount of third installment is 24000 rupees and what i got the balance and figure here 24000 it's same right so now we are left with only last installment again bring this down okay on the next day 1 4 2019 balance brought down rupees 24000 it means still i have to pay 24000 rupees to cease executors okay let us calculate interest 31 3 2020 interest 24000 into 10 divided by 100 10 percentage is the rate of interest so 2400 here again i'm paying the interest for full year april to march okay now let's play the let's pay the final installment or last installment okay 31 3 2020 bank account right i am paying the installment amount 24000 plus the interest 2400 okay totally 26400 okay now I have paid the final installment, right? I've also paid the interest. Now, if you see the balance on both the sides, it's same, 26,400, okay? It's same on both the sides. I'm not getting any balancing figure, okay? It means I don't have to pay any other amount to cease executors, okay? So this is how we prepare cease exe uh, or executors account, right? So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you in my next videos. Till that, happy learning.